So today we're going to um, learn how to incorporate the Rhino structure into a Google Maps view. Um, how is this orange structure here? So um, first we have to select our Google Maps view or photo view, whatever you want. And we're going to set in color uh, the surface where our intervention is going to be. So I'm going to save it as a JPG called Capture. I really recommend you guys to be really super uh, organized in these uh, files. Uh, then we are going to go to our Rhino model where I already built our, uh, the structure that is going to cover the sidewalk. And it is, uh, this are, is like, like a group of surfaces, but I need these uh, lines to be part of the structure so, um, because they are not right now part. So I'm going to say it is struct wireframe and when you zoom in you can tell that these now are independent lines which I need for my drawing uh, then I will go to options and I would go to view and so display modes uh, where I'm going to copy wireframe and I'm going to go to background and put image file I'm going to click there and look for my capture JPG, JPG and I'm going to say OK then I go to my perspective view and I'm going to look for my mode where is my image and I'm going to spend a little time like um, you know make it work the perspective and the structure um, so yeah when I got that I'm going to select the structure and I'm going to put make 2D and then everything as it is here, okay. It takes a while because it has all these lines, so be patient. Um, how it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, so after a little while, then it says creating two drawing when it goes up. It means that our uh, 2D is ready to go. So we go to our top view and we can find the drawing we're going to move it aside uh, just to don't have confusion um, confusive uh, elements <laughs> in our drawing and we're going to put export selected uh, in this case I recommend you to export it in DWG uh, which works just fine in Illustrator um, so yeah then you go that way um then we are going to open our same image in illustrator um this takes a little while after we open it we want our image to be as big as as we plan our um, drawing on photoshop we're going to say uh place this structure and we are going to spend a little while like um, again placing the this structure in this in the place that we want it to be this is just a sense of a scaling in the the drawing and playing a little bit with it when you already have it i'm really interested to have like a really uh, amazing colors i am using this in my drawing so Basically, I'm going to go to the tool and put it orange there. And when we zoom in, I can see like the lines are really, um, they, are, they need to be thinner. So I go here and I'm pulling to five. This is more like a sense that each one would uh, decide during, um, during the process of the model. Then go save as a structure again, but this time as an A. E file you put save and then um, good to go we go to our Photoshop file and we are going to um, put a place link link file uh, there's our structure I certainly recommend this because uh, sometimes you change the file and it would be easier if the um, both files are coordinated all the time and you don't spend time like changing uh, everything 
uh, it's also important to set this uh, as a smart object so it will have this sense of, of you can change it any time and it won't affect uh, your time which is really valuable in these design careers so I basically like to to play a lot with with uh, the blues on the backgrounds and some um, you know warm colors on the other side, and I uh, my project was about color colors in the sidewalks and the public space for pedestrians to get pedestrians uh, attention. So you get a little texture here, you get a little grass. I I burn a little bit the the yellow uh, concrete to create this sense of you know, oldness, um, I put this um, people uh, that basically um, is a PNG and you just have to like go to this filter in Photoshop and like play with it, with, it is dry burn, I think, yeah. So you start playing with it and you get this kind of uh, sketchy, colorfulness people and that's it, that's pretty much it that we're drawing here.